everybody. This is Jeanette from Woody Girl Selling Crafts. Um, I was asked by several of the subscribers to do um, more videos on how I use in Brilliance. So that way folks can start learning about, you know, the different functions of in Brilliance and how I use it. So um, what I'm going to do in this one, I'm going to show you how to do the fonts in the different colors. I just saw someone on Facebook asked about that. Um, very simple to, to do, so I'm just going to do one. You know, this video should be pretty quick, so that way you guys can see how you can, um, you know, do names. You know, a lot of people do this for kids' shirts, you know, where you have every letter a different color, okay? So um, here I have just launched In Brilliance, okay? And I'm going to pick my hoop, and I'm going to go under In Brilliance, and I'm going to hit Preferences. And I'm always going to tell you what steps and where I'm hitting, just so you guys can follow along. Under here, once you hit um, in Brilliance Preferences, I'm going into my hoops. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the 5x7. And I see I am here. I'm going to hit Apply. Hit OK. And once again, I don't see my hoop. I don't know why. Let me go under View. Ah, okay. Now under view, right here it says draw hoop. I'm gonna click on that. And I still don't see it. Okay, what's going on? All right, Jeanette, what is happening? I'm gonna play with this a little bit. Ah, I don't know if you guys know, but before, when you launch in Brilliance, okay? And I'm leaving this error in this video because like I said, I like leaving my errors in there. Always hit here you're gonna start a new project, okay? That's the new page. Once you click on new page, then you get a page, okay? I always have, I always jump the gun, I forget to hit new page, always do that. Once you hit there, then you can go and you can select your hoop and everything else. Now, I already have this on a five by seven, but I'll select again, in brilliance, preferences, hoops, five by seven, hit apply. Okay, now, um, sometimes when you're working on this, it can get kind of funky, you know, um, I want, you know, pay attention to this area right here where it has like the north, south, east, west, and then right here is where you zoom in and you zoom out. Sometimes when you're working on it, sometimes you'll get a little off track. If you need to get back in the center so you want to see where you are, click here and this will show you where the center point is. So see if I click here, see how this moves? Click on here if I want to go to the bottom, see how it goes. If I want to go to the center, just click on the center, and there you go. And then if I want to expand, because sometimes you want to see the, the, the stitches in more detail, and then you can just click here and you can make the box a little smaller. So here, you know, this is where you can adjust the box. Um, a lot of times you you may at times, see, see how sometimes it, it just jumped? That's just me moving my mouse. But if I want to go back, you click here by the, the north, south, and then I click on here, and there I'm right back. But anyway, um, like I was trying to say before I accidentally did that, is um, some people say, well, when would you wanna zoom in and zoom out? Um, a lot of times you wanna zoom out because you just wanna see how the overall product is gonna look, you know, your whole um, embroidery file, how the design is gonna look. And sometimes you wanna zoom in, especially when you're trying to remove stitches or add stitches, or you just wanna see the details of how things are laid out the stitches okay so anyway um that's you know that's how i use it okay but i want to show you guys if you're working on something and you want to do a, a name of someone and you want to do different colors so i'm going to click on here the letter a and that's where you put in your text in here is where you're going to have your text box and i'm going to zoom in a little bit over here in this angle so that you can see let me try to zoom in a little bit here Hope I didn't hit anything. No, I didn't. Okay, here you go. Because I want to try to make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing and what it actually does. Okay, here you have the text box. Okay, um, this is you know it always comes up with an ABC. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, my name, Jeanette. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my name because my name has about eight letters and I want to do this several times so you guys get the concept down packed, okay? Now, um, here the font is, you know, the different fonts. Now, when you first purchase Embrillus Essentials, it comes with some very basic fonts. 
But as time goes on and you start to do more embroidery, you're going to want to create your own designs. So you're going to want to go to different websites and you're going to want to buy fonts so that you can load it on this machine. I mean, on this software um, and port it in, actually, in the software. So um, when you purchase your, your fonts, I strongly recommend that you buy them in a BX format. Okay, I understand that, that the Brother SC1900 uses a PES file. You're still going to get a PES file, trust me, okay? Once you save your completed product, you're going to save it as a PES, and that's when you can transfer it over to your machine. But when you are buying the fonts, you want BX, because a BX font is what you can bring and install on um, Essentials, and then you can go ahead and you can use it. As you install it, your list of different fonts are going to grow, just like you see this right here, okay? These are all BX fonts that I have purchased. So I'm going to pick one that's pretty simple. Here's this one. Ooh, and you see it's kind of big. It's one inch, but it's okay. I know it's outside of the hoop and stuff, but I just want to show this as how I do it for demonstration only, okay? I'm not going to stitch this out or anything, but I just want to show you how you could change the um the colors of all the fonts okay so as you can see it's all blue so let's say i want to make um you know different colors right i want red red and blue so what i would do is when you click on these green boxes these boxes allow you to pick each letter individually okay see how they highlight Okay, so what I'm going to do is, let's say I like the blue here, but I want the E to be red. I'm going to click on the, the square, and that highlighted my E. You're going to come over to the right-hand side. You're going to pick, pick color. Oh, got the hiccups. Okay, pick color. And then I'm going to say I want red. And let me. I'm going to move this over here. Sorry, I didn't see that as I was picking the colors that you don't see the box that I'm doing that. Okay. So I'm going to do that again just to make sure. Sorry, guys. Okay, I picked here. I'm going to kick, pick color. Okay, this is the box that comes up. Okay? This is where you can select the type of thread that you're going to use. Okay? Um, you see the different types. You know, um, I usually use Sim Thread or Brother Embroidery. You know, um... Also, you, you know, you can just select uh, the name. I'm going to put red. Here's a red. Hit OK. There. So as you can see, now this is blue. This is um, red. I want to leave this blue. I would like Jeanette, the, the end to be red. So I'm going to highlight my, my name again. I'm going to select the box for the end. I'm going to highlight that. And I'm going to change this. box always keeps going over there so select it hit okay there you go so now I got this color this color this color this color this color now I want this T to be red so I'm gonna click on here red hit okay and I want the E to be red. So I'm going to click on that color. There you go. Red. Bing. Back. There you go. And then let's say that, you know, um, I want to do it on my 5 by 7 but of course I, I can't fit it this way. But let's say, look, I can highlight here. There's that little circle right here. Um, make sure that you can see what I'm doing and let's say I just want to rotate it so I would just take it by this and I can go like that and I still think it's a little too big for this hoop um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to and it's, it's kind of like you know like you're working word art I'm going to make it a little smaller there you go there so all done but as you can see oops sorry let me just don't Ugh. Okay, I want to make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so as you can see, this right here is my end product. If I was going to save this, I would probably save it like this. Okay, um, but this is what it, it looks like. 
okay and then i can just save this file put it in the um the machine and stitch it out and then what will happen is you know each letter will have a different color sign okay so you know that's how you do it guys so hope Hope this video is pretty helpful. Hope it, you know, helps out. So, um, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And, um, you know, hope you enjoy it. Okay, so um, happy sewing and embroidery. And hope you can join me on Fridays at 8 o'clock for happy embroidery hour. So, I'll talk to you later. Bye.